Why we got a, we got a family favourite, well everybody's favourite prawn dumplings. You know these are so popular now. You know you can go to restaurants. There's, there's all these little food stores popping yeah. up now with dumplings, and it's like why not make them ourselves? You know it's really easy. These are uh, the prawn uh, dumpling wrappers. Really easy to get hold of now in the supermarkets or Asian supermarkets or even normal supermarkets, and uh, you know an array of beautiful, tasty, fresh ingredients in there. And, you, and the beauty is, if you make it yourself, you can put anything you want in there. Oh, I love. Do you know what? I'm a dumpling fiend. Like a dozen <laughs> is never enough. So this is dangerous <laughs> for me. They are going to be so amazing. We'll get the full recipe a little later on. Great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen. And Mark, today you've got a tasty classic Chinese dish. We can all make this at home, which is dangerous for me because my favourite. <laughs> dish bar none is dumpling. So what have we got to do to get things kicked off? Right, so first of all we're going to make our mix. So I've got some prawns, so you can, you can just buy these. If you buy the prawn meat, that's without the, it's not the cutlet, it's not got the uh, shell on it. Yep. It's just pieces of prawn meat, it's a little bit cheaper. Defrost that and then you can either blend it up in the blender, uh, pulse it, or you can just chop it with a knife. So I've just chopped that with a knife and you can see it's sort of, it's still a little bit of texture there, Yep. but it's, it's binding. It's quite, um, it gets quite sticky, and the more you work it, this sort of sticks together. But that's, so that's part of the plan. Yeah, and that's cool. what you want. You know, that's that's going to give us a nice um, base for our filling, and it's going to hold all the flavours in, right? So I've got a little awesome. bit of garlic going in there. Yeah, we love the garlic. Got some chives, which we'll just chop. And like we were saying before, you know, you can put any ingredients in here you want. You know, that's the beauty of it, making it yourself. Is you know? there anything you do have to watch out for? Because obviously you've got it encased in a dumpling. I'm, I'm thinking, and I might be wrong here, is there something that will just make it go sloppy and hard to eat? Or is it literally the sky is the limit? Yeah, I mean, sky's the limit, but yeah, don't make it too wet because it is a pastry at the end of the day. You have got a bit of leeway. It's a little bit better than pasta. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if this is dripping wet and you're trying to make it, you know, you're going to make it soggy, it's going to stick, it's just going to sort of... And then it will squirt it, everywhere yeah, when you go Yeah, it's not really going to yep. work too much. So, so the so chives in there now, some spring onions? Chives, spring onions, there's a bit of coriander in there as well. You yep. can start giving that a good stir. Okay. You can do some fresh uh, ground black pepper. Good, we like that. Uh, and then we've got a little bit of chilli, which we're going to put in as well. You know, yes, so it's already. really up to you. I mean, I know you like chilli from yesterday. I do, I love chilli. And I, I tell you what, I also am one of those people 50% of the population, I just adore coriander. Oh, I love it. And I know if Jesse was here, he would be going, <laughs> but it's honestly, it, as soon as I smell coriander, it makes me want to eat. Uh, so coriander in a dumpling is just a match made in heaven. Exactly, you know, and, it, and it's one of those things, all right, if you don't like it, leave it out, but yeah. um, it's, it does make... It does make the dumpling. Right, so the chilli's in there, we've got the spring onions. Spring onion. So we've got a nice bit of texture in there. Yep. We've got a, a little bit of our sesame oil in there to cool. flavour. Uh, and again, just one of those gorgeous sort of Chinese flavours that really is, oh, that... Oh, it's so, smell, isn't it? It's fantastic. So good. A little bit of soy in there for seasoning, yep. and then I've got a bit of the uh, Chinese wine in there as well, just gives it another dimension. Great. So you can see we've, we've got a soy in there, Add a little bit more, but, but it's yeah. not wet, you know? No. It's absorbing all those flavours, so you give it a really good beat, you know, and, and that's where we are. Great. That's where we're at now. You know, you could uh, you could test the seasoning, we could uh, just fry a little bit of the uh, mixture off, and you could yep. taste it if it needs a little bit more, um, but pretty much, you know, we've got all these, like, amazing flavours in yeah. there, so they should be great. Awesome. Right, now it's time to build. Okay, so, so this is, I figure that this is the hard part. Yeah, well, the technical part. Right? Yeah. So we've got so we've got our wrappers. So all the hard parts done because yep. you can just buy these now. And then what you want to do is you don't want to overfill it. So just okay. a nice sort of teaspoon size in the middle. And then I've got a little bowl with some water. Yeah. And I'm just going to run around the edge. Pop that in the middle. Just a little bit. Okay. And, and then, then around all the edges. Yeah, around the edges, just a little bit. And then I'm going to fold it so they meet. So you've got a half moon shape. This is the point where I'm going to look like an idiot. And no, but you or you can just leave them like that. Just crimp the edges together really tight, and that'll seal it in. Okay. You know, leave it like that if you want, or if you want to make it more authentic, what you want to do is get your fingers and sort of pull and push. Oh, so so I you go in around. I may, have, I may have a squirter here. Um, we just, you put too much in. Didn't I you? put too much in there, <laughs> which is not unusual for me. I'm always putting too much of something in somewhere. <laughs> uh, we'll come back soon and find out exactly how these go and get them cooked up. I cannot wait for that. So we're back in the Beko kitchen. We've made our prawn dumplings, which are steaming away in here at the moment. I'm resisting the urge to lift <laughs> the lid because Mark will give me one of those good old smacks on the hand. But we're going to make the dressing, Mark. So what goes in there? Right, so really quick dressing. And, and the reason why I like this dressing is there's no uh, soy sauce in there, so it's, we've got a little bit of a different flavour. Because every time you do a dipping dressing, there's always soy sauce. In yep. it. So this is something different. So a little bit of water goes in there, 
uh, some uh, uh, rice wine vinegar, cool. brown one, and some fish sauce as well. So you're still getting the acidity, you're getting the saltiness. Um, I've got a little bit of sugar in there, which yep. we're just going to put in, and that's going to dissolve, give us a bit of balance. Uh, lots of fresh lime juice. Oh, I love that lime juice. You know, so we've got the salty, sweet, yep. sharp. And is it a case of, you, you know, you might want to taste as you go with something like this? Because you are looking for a balance, isn't that right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's all, it's all about balance. So I'd, uh, my advice to you is, uh, you know, follow the recipe, get it up. We're just going to bring it, just, we're not going to boil mm. it. We're just going to bring it up to temperature and that's just going to dissolve that sugar. Then we're going to turn it off. I'm going to drop some sliced chilli and sliced garlic in there and it's just going to cool down. That's going to infuse. And then I'd suggest just taste it. And if you know, if you want it sort of, uh, you know, a bit more sort of uh, sour, a bit yep. more lime in, or if you want to kick the salt up, the fish sauce. So we're um, in progress. Yeah, so exactly. I'm guessing, you know, something that could be good for Father's Day on Sunday because it's fun and interactive to get the kids involved with. This it's would be not fantastic. Too tricky. Yeah. Uh, just while we're talking on the subject of Father's Day, I do hear. Uh, oh, funny that. What is this? Oh, look what I found <laughs> back here. I hear you might have a little special on. We for have. Dads. We've got a special on as well. If you want to, you know, raise the bar a little bit, you know, you can grab my book. We've got twenty dollars off if you uh, purchase on the website. So go to my website www.chefmarksouthland.com, enter the promo code CHEFDAD, and you will get twenty dollars off. And if you order it today, you'll get it in time for Father's Day. Yeah. Perfect. You're trying to take Holly's job, <laughs> aren't you, with all that <laughs> that info? Uh, how long has the book been up, Mark? Uh, it just dropped uh, just before Christmas last yeah, year, I and it's selling I like hot cakes. Yeah, I'm sure it has. I still haven't received my copy from you, so we'll just pop that back <laughs> over there. lost in the post? <laughs> right, I'll give you some dumplings instead. All right, let's have a look at these dumplings. So we've been busy <gasps> making all these dumplings. Oh. These have been in about five minutes. They're probably going to take about sort of seven, seven, eight minutes, so they are nearly ready. And you can see they're going a little bit opaque. Just need a little bit more cooking because it's a little bit firm. So not far off. I've made another layer for you because I know you like your dumplings. I'll eat all layers in this. And thing. What are we looking for though? You mentioned opaque. Is that kind of an indicator? Yeah, yeah. So the steam is cooking the uh, dumplings. So, so if you had a look at the raw wrapper, it's quite, um, you know, it's quite sort of um, white, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, white, yeah. it's raw looking, it's the flour. Uh, and then when you cook it, cook it, you know, you can already see now it's sort of starting to come see through lighter. Ooh, I'm getting excited. And, uh, it's, oh, it's really salivating just a little bit. <laughs> So how long are we doing the sauce for? So that, that's it, we're just bringing it up to temperature, um, so I'm going to take it off now, give it a quick sur a swirl, you can see the sugar's all dissolved now, I'll mm. pop the ingredients in there and that's just going to infuse into the sauce. You know, you could put ginger in there if you wanted, yep. you could finish it with some coriander once it's cooled down, you know, you oh. can put anything you want. And if you wanted to put some soy sauce in, you can always put a little bit in, it's always up to you, but it's great to try different things. I cannot wait, it's going to be so delicious. And of course you can find the recipe on our website at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> Brilliant, look at those. Yeah. Sauces on there, the dumplings are ready, and I can see you two are very excited and want to tuck in. Look at that. Absolutely. What's on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow on the menu, I've got lamb coftas. 